and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, this channel is called Jake of All Trades, and today I am going to be reacting to... I am going to butcher this name. Rinne? I think? I, I looked up a couple videos on how to pronounce it, and there's like an English pronunciation, a German pronunciation, and a Japanese pronunciation. I went with the Japanese there, which was Rin... That, that was too much of a roll. Rin, Rinne? I'm so sorry if I butchered that. Uh, DNA by Bandmade, please correct me in the comments and tell me how to pronounce it by putting it in, a, in some terms I could possibly un understand if I am certainly wrong, which if you've watched any of my reaction videos, you know that I have a habit of being wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, there seemed to be a large consensus that this was the next one I should react to. Um, several of you both voted multiple times and there were a few people that put a ton of votes in, but then there's also a mass number of people that put in just like one or two. Um, so yeah, Rene was definitely gonna be the next one to do. So um, I am gonna give a shout out to everybody who gave um, a suggestion over the course of time uh, for this one. Uh, we have Adam Young, Curtis R. Robles with two votes and <laughs> literally both of them are just kind of like, yeah, ditto. Um, <laughs> Uh, Davey Boyd, Gary Holloway with two votes, Greylock, Greylock 100, not Gary Lock, Greylock 100 with four votes, um, Interstellar Dave, JK Kansas Band with seven votes, Keith Meyer, LS, Miko Metal, not Miku Metal, <laughs> as I screwed up last time, um, Parker with four votes, Paul2472, Farron with two votes, Silentwood207, Surfing a Song Wave with two votes, T0, Tephysics with uh, 14 votes, and that might change, um, Tom Clark, Toshi Matio with two votes, Vegeta Rabbit, and Zager Vanguard with five votes. So, Thank you guys for continuing to suggest, suggest this one. I heard that um, this one was a lot more metal than a lot of their other songs. And the first time I saw that in a comment, which was a, a while back, um, I got excited. I was considering just like saying, screw the voting system. I'm, I want to do this one because I love my metal. Screw the rules, I have money. Um, but tried to tried to stick as well as I could to the voting system I put in place. Obviously there's been some changes, but anyway. One real quick side note though, before we get into it. Um, I did see that, so the requests have mainly been for the music video, but there were some mentions of a live version and I wasn't sent any links to a live version. I tried um, a couple of the sources that people have suggested over time uh, to find one. I do see one listed on YouTube. I don't know if it's going to be good quality or not. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, but if it's not good quality, I'm just going to stick with the um, with the music video reaction for today. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right. Rene. Rene. <laughs> the official music video. Ready to bang my head. Here we go. Yeah. 
Is that it? That's it? All right. All right, so this is my attempt at the, the live version that it's that seems to be there. We'll see how this goes. Oh, okay. Pretty good quality so far. Must have been one of those performances where they didn't have an audience. Okay. All right. So I, I guess I do get to do a compare and contrast today. I wasn't sure if I was going to or not. Gosh, I love that that was as heavy as it was. Um, I love my metal. Love to be able to almost break my neck <laughs> going hard on uh, on some heavy stuff. So let's start getting into some compares and comparisons and contrasts. Um, one of the things that um, I I'll get the negatives out of the way first. There wasn't much, but um, the the music video I was having a little bit of a hard time with just because of the way, um, just the visuals 
um, or just a little difficult because it was so fuzzy. And I know that was probably part of the um, the artistic sense of it. Um, but it's just like, I kind of wish I could just see them clearly rocking out because I'm like, you know, I've made my mistakes with um, like messing up uh, Miku and Konami and like, I'm a, it's just like, I want to be able to see them clearly. It was a little hard to do, but um, you know, that's really my only gripe. In hearing the differences between the, the music video and the, the live, there's some things that were going on in, with the mixing um, in the music video that I think I was a little bit like confused about um, when at, at first, like at the beginning, like, you know, you kind of had the, the pounding drums and whatnot, but then you had like this other noise and I'm like, what is that noise? Is that coming from the drum kit? Is that the guitar? But it's just like really weirdly EQ'd, you know? Um, like I couldn't really tell what that was going what was going on there, but in the live version it became a lot more clear um, because it wasn't um, as heavily processed as it was um, on the studio music video version. So um, the the live version really pulled out some things uh, from the music video that um, I didn't pick up on um, just due to the way it was mixed. Um, and it kind of kind of with uh, Konami solo too, um, like. It didn't quite hit me as well as much um, like in the music video as it did in the live because um, like you know I was able to kind of catch her like row, 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 like uh, that little part of the solo a lot more clearly um, whereas in the the music video I was kind of hearing the combination of that and uh, Miku kind of doing like a um, kind of a different rhythm than what I was expecting like norm like normally I was uh, expecting her to like do some like bar chords or something but she kind of went off and did some like octave um, stuff from what it sounded like. Uh, and um, so those things kind of created like a, a really cool blend in the in the music video. Um, but it just kind of like, you know, it was a blend. <laughs> Whereas um, in the live, it, like it stood out a lot more. And I think part of it was because um, in the music video, um, you'll have your rhythm guitar you know, double tracked and panned all the way to the left and right. Um, so it kind of creates this very wide rhythm sound. And then, um, so it's like that is surrounding the solo. Whereas like in the in the live version, like you have Konami's guitar in this ear and Miku's guitar in this ear. So like I could hear everything over here without Miku's guitar kind of, you know, messing with the signal at all. So, um, so it was really, I really appreciated uh, there being a live version to be able to kind of pull out some of those extra things that I definitely missed on the on the first time listening through in the studio. Let's see what else. Uh, I liked how they they changed up the feel. They they seem to do that a lot uh, with with um, their songs, and uh, like particularly during the verse, you kind of had like this thrashiness, and then like um, then it kind of went into like a like a half pace. Dun -dun -dun. Almost like uh, much like if you put a breakdown in um, in the verse, but just kind of like dialed it back just a, just a tad, um, and uh, so I thought that was that was pretty neat and interesting as well. Um, you you kind of had uh, Misa's lead bass going on there, kind of during the solo there, where like Konami was doing her solo and um, Miku was doing her octave um, rhythm, like. Misa held up the base, uh, the base and the, the the chunk of it like very uh, very solidly. And like it, um, there was another thing that uh, with the base, I've noted this um, in a previous comparison and contrast I've done uh, for Bandmade, where I think it was Manners just last week, if I'm not mistaken, um, where in the music video is kind of like a little bit more sitting in the mix and just kind of feeling like very foundational and like holding the rest of the, um, you know, the rest of the instruments up. Um, whereas like it just kind of being the, <laughs> the bass of the guitar, uh, just like the chunk that the, the, the foundation, excuse me, that the guitar is just lay on. Um, whereas uh, in the live version, you had a little bit more crispiness to it that brought it um, some more personality and it stood out in the mix a lot more. Um, and so it seems like they kind of have a, a little bit of a thing with that, changing the bass tone between studio and, and live. I did, uh, like I said, with 
how the music video was and just kind of having a hard time seeing them um, with the way that the, um, the visuals were. Um, I definitely really appreciated the live, um, being able to kind of get a better look at them as they're like rocking out. Um, it was, it was really enjoyable and I appreciated the fact that there was a live version available. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications so that you don't miss anything going forward. Um, leave a suggestion and a vote in the comments of what bandmate song I should do next. Um, or if you have a suggestion for another band, uh, leave that in the comments as well, and I'll give you a shout out when I do that video. And uh, if you have any suggestions for guitar covers or vocal covers you'd like to see me do, leave those in the comments as well, and I'll certainly give you uh, give you credit for suggesting sug suggesting <laughs> suggesting it. God, <laughs> I cannot speak English, um, and that's my first language. Also, um, thank you to BM for Life for so, for so, so generously supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you. Rock on.